Hey everybody, welcome back. Wow, we're not looking at a multimeter today. No, we're looking at a cordless soldering iron. Cordless! Now there's a lot of darn good soldering irons out there. Most of them you have to plug in. You know the song. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, especially if you have a job to do that's maybe a little bit on the awkward side. Well, awkward no more. This funky soldering iron, cordless that is, came via Amazon for a whopping $21. And man, oh man, is it cool. Ouch! It's just kind of hot because it's a soldering iron. Bad idea. Now the wife has no idea what the heck this instrument is. Now she has no idea it's a soldering iron, but let's play peekaboo with Olga and find out what she thinks it is. Olga darling, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You know what? What? I need a portable cordless soldering iron. And out of these ones here, tell me which one you think I should use. <laughs> it's all about <laughs> portability. Yeah. First of all, I would like to say, I wish I had your problems. Second, um, the portable, so it means it's supposed to be not connected. So that's definitely not this one. Uh, this one is a freaking pan. So I like this red one. You like the red one? Yeah. What about this one? I I, I didn't even realize that's the. I thought it's a. <laughs> you thought it was a pen, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, <laughs> actually, it's a soldering iron. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Man, so we fooled Olga, everybody. Yeah. Soldering iron that Olga picked out. You know what? I used to use this one fairly often when I was doing uh, some stuff on site. But you know what? It just didn't have a lot of juice to it. Um, it was kind of wonky, and I wasn't overall, you know, generally happy with it. I think this was what five, six watts, and I mean it did the job. But yeah, put in some portability. I wasn't happy. Well, lo and behold from a company called Color U, go figure, um, this cool little portable soldering iron kit, everything you need for that do-it-yourself job on the road or at home, hey, it's all good. I've seen these branded with different names, what have you, so take that with a grain of salt, the whole Color U idea, uh, but they're uh, out there. Um, once again, I got this from Amazon for about $23, $24 Canadian, and they always seem to have some promo going with these, so probably around 15 to 20 US, you can snag one of these bad boys. What a deal. And the funny thing with this kit is they don't give you one, no, they actually give you two soldering iron bodies. Now each of these has a battery inside of it. So you're getting two for the price of one. And funny enough, they only give you one soldering tip. Honestly, I probably would have preferred two tips and one body, but um, well, I guess it is what it is. Still, two for the price of one, that's kind of cool. You get what has to be the world's smallest soldering iron holder. Look at this thing, it's just freaking tiny. It's so tiny, but I guess it does the job and that's all that matters. And look at that little sponge if you're into sponges. And as well, you get that micro USB cable um, to charge the little sucker. Yes, takes about 30 minutes or so to charge from uh, near empty and you get about 30 minutes of charge out of that. So, hey, that is- And finally, of course, you get your Chinese leaded solder. Oh yeah. And of course you get your little product manual, basically one page, uh, there's not much to this iron. A five millimeter, 0.5 millimeter thread and uh, off on switch and that micro USB plug and play instead of plug and pray interface. Overall, what can I say? Let's try it out, this thing looks funky. Now one really nice surprise is the fact that this is a metal uh, enclosure. It is not plastic at all, metal, solid and i'm telling you for the price this is good no this is great quality i mean this thing should last uh you're at the mercy of that battery inside but all things said the body itself ain't gonna fail so great great attention to detail there's that one soldering tip just your general style tip unfortunately i'm i was trying to find tips for these additional tips wasn't able to find them i know they've got to be out there they've got to be simply you screw into the head assembly like so 
and bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. You are basically ready for soldering. That's it, that's all. Uh, this one is already charged. They ship with, I think, about a half charge or so. So when you get this, you can start soldering right away. Now, believe it or not, I've used this already to fix two items in the house, an electric blanket and a fairly new uh, kettle. Um, both went DOA, but uh, lo and behold, this little guy did the trick. Now, 8 to 15 watts is definitely not a super killer, but uh, you know what? For basic electronics, quick on-the-job repairs, it just works. It works. Yeah, you don't need that 60, 80, 90 watts of power to fix anything. In order to get the iron to turn on, you have to depress the button five times quickly. So let's try that now. One, two, three, four, five. And with that glowing hue, you can tell that it is now on. Now you gotta keep that button depressed as soon as you let go. It's going to uh, not heat any longer. So keep the button depressed in order to heat the iron up. Now it takes about 30 seconds. And you can see that button is flashing, just letting you know that it is, in, it is heating up. So the iron is heating. I can start to smell that solder, that wonderful smell of solder. Do you like the smell of solder? I don't know what it is, but it just has that electronics nostalgic smell. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Let's take a look at the iron. Put it on the temperature probe here. And we're already at 400 degrees and climbing. Wow. Now this particular unit, I haven't even charged yet. I have not charged this unit yet. This is the way it shipped. So uh, kudos for giving us the soldering iron that we can use right away. Already at 460 degrees and it seems to be slowing down now. Now you don't have that temperature control with uh, this iron. So that is one of the downsides. That's gonna heat up. You're gonna do your soldering and then you are gonna stop. So let's see, I'll take a piece of solder here. Oh yeah, <coughs> yeah, definitely uh, it's doing the trick. Okay, let's actually solder something. So remember, if you put this iron down, that's okay. It's not gonna turn off. It won't turn off till you depress that button again five more times. So it'll just basically go into like a sleep, a standby mode. Um, I've got a power supply here. Got a capacitor. I'm just gonna solder this quickly, see how it works. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Absolutely not an issue here. Oh man, it's got the power, it's got the power. Look at that. Good stuff. So bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. That was really quick to solder that uh, capacitor right there. It took no time at all. And uh, yeah, those joints, they just look perfect. Quick FYI, if you are on site and you forgot to charge your soldering iron, don't worry. As long as you have a plug handy, you can still plug and play. Yeah, it will work while it's being charged. Good stuff. Yeah, I gotta say, not too shabby. Well, I hate destroying good electronics equipment, but to get a look on the inside, I have no more, no choice. I already saw that micro USB header is uh, right exposed, um, but unfortunately I can't access the battery yet, so I'm gonna go a little deeper. Oh, luckily enough, with a little bit of prying and prodding uh, with some pliers, I was able to get that battery 
gently come out and there it is oh yeah ah there we go so that is our rechargeable cell to what we have here spr 13700 3.7 volt manufacturing date wow 11 23 2022 so definitely uh, new despite all the mayhem uh, the battery still is good it is still a charging cool yeah, very cool so battery is basically almost charged look at that sitting around four volts so uh 3.7 volt rating on the battery and yeah it is definitely charged now this handy soldering iron does not ship with that uh, charging plug per se. You only get the micro USB cable. So you might want to pick up one of these if you don't already have one at Red home. LED giving us the charging indicator status. Once it's fully charged, it will turn green. Side by side with the TS-80P and look at that, they are almost identical. In fact, the uh, plain Jane soldering iron is about four millimeters smaller than the TS-80P. Suffice to say, this cordless iron is definitely yummy. Does all the right things. Portable, fast to heat up, and man, it just works out of the box. Believe it or not, when you don't have one of these, you don't realize what you're missing. As soon as you have one, you say, how could I have lived without it? Having portability in the true sense of the word, no wires included, is definitely electronic testing freedom oh it is just so nice hey know what you're saying darren do you have anything negative to say about this little iron honestly i don't it really is hard to pick you know it's a little weird that they're giving you two bodies well in my case uh it's definitely going to come in handy but that being said most people aren't going to dremel their iron having two tips perhaps different tips would have been the caveat the ice all said and done case. at the end of the day this cordless beautiful soldering iron which is well made not an ounce of plastic on it is definitely a bargain the color you soldering iron gets a solid 4.5 out of five stars thanks for watching this review everybody to the next one keep on testing